Our first question is from Rolando in Germany. Hey, what's up, Rolando? What's going on, man? Hey, is that, is that Sal? Hey, how you doing, Sal? Hey, what's up, man? And uh, I got Adam with me over yeah. here. What's up? What's uh, up? Hey, I think he, uh, Doug is switching up the uh, the cameras. Hey, Adam. What's going Jennifer on, brother? How, guys, how you uh, doing over there, man? Man, it's a long day, long week. Uh, we're doing some some COVID training right now, so it's it's been one one hell of a week. But it's you know we're getting it done. Excellent. So, what's your question? Oh, so my so my my question is, I'm looking into changing my job to a job that's more physically demanding uh, on the body. So, it, my question is, how how do I build a like a strong, durable body to prevent injury? And uh, what type of nutrition would go well with that to, to prevent that? The the type of training that you'll have to go through for this is like uh, rucking with like 60 pounds for miles, running for miles. You have to be uh, lots of calisthenics, uh, carrying lots of load. So, yeah. Okay. So that's what, that's what you're going to be doing. What do you do now? I, I want to know what the contrast looks like. Oh, I'm actually just doing maps anabolic right now. Uh, I just had eye surgery. So I'm getting my, trying to get my strength back. So I'm doing maps, uh, anabolic and I'm doing, I'm on the strength phase. So phase one, week three. Okay. Okay. OCR man. Now, do you, do you have, uh, any areas where you tend to have pain now? Okay. So, uh, ankles, knees, hips, back, shoulders, neck, are there any areas now that you think I better be careful because these, these tend to flare up on me? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I do actually have a little bit of, I know I have some hip mobility issues. I, I use, some uh, some techniques I learned from Prime Pro. I uh, have some some shoulder, so I've been trying to get that that range of motion going for sure. Okay, when you say hip, uh, give me a little bit more detail. Where does it hurt, and what makes it hurt? So it's like my like um, my lower like where my glute is. I I, must, I guess a little, a little above above that. So okay, a little bit above that. Sometimes it like just from standing too long, or if I uh, if I have a little bit of if I'm carrying too much weight for a little while, little long periods of time, I'll have to kind of take a break and try and, you know, do some 90 nineties to, to stretch it out. Excellent. Okay. So, um, you're saying right above the glute, uh, sounds like SI joint. Are you familiar with the SI joint, the sacroiliac joint right above the glute? Uh, no, not too familiar. Okay. So it sounds like you're getting a little bit of pain there. And in my experience, um, that comes from Definitely some issues in the hip, but core stability, believe it or not, makes a big difference there. If your core is not firing and activating the way that it should, then you're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of the pressure and the you know the, of, of the walking and hiking is going to go straight to the hips. And then uh, this is just something that we really figured out later on in our careers. Believe it or not, the ankles and the feet make a huge difference with the hips. If your ankles are, and feet are not doing what they're supposed to. The hips tend to, it's either the knees or the hips that tend to suffer from that kind of stuff. What are you doing for your, what are you doing for your core? Oh, I'm just, like I said, so, uh, sir, I'm just following the, what's on mass anabolic. Okay. And then, um, uh, and, uh, in, instead of doing the, um, the trigger sessions, sometimes I like to do like farmer carries and sleds. And then I'll do, uh, some, some cable, uh, what are they called with the cables? Uh, why can't I think of the name? Side chops. Oh yeah. Some yeah, side yeah. chops and stuff. Okay, so a couple things I'm going to recommend to you. Um, I'm going to recommend that you do uh, planks, but when you do a plank, I want you to do uh, to tuck your tailbone. Okay, so it's our YouTube okay. video. Yeah, we have a video that where I show people how to do this. So in other words, you're doing your plank, but you want your butt to tuck under and squeeze your core. So we're going to strengthen the core while the hip flexors are being active. This is great for people like you, right? Who who get some of this hip pain from walking and hiking. You want the core to do more of the work than it's probably doing right now. There's a second exercise. There's a second video that we have. It's called hip flexor deactivator crunches. I think this will also help you out a lot. Now, these are not like big muscle building exercises, but they're great for corrective type strength. And in your case, I think that they would be phenomenal. Let's move up to the shoulders now. Okay. You said you had some shoulder pain also. Where does your shoulders hurt? What yeah. causes them to hurt? What was that? What was that last part? Where, where, what part of the shoulder bothers you, and then what movements bother your shoulders usually? Uh, it's just uh, like right here in the front, um, but it just gets like exhausted. It's more like, uh, like after I like I'll hit bench for like, after four or five sets, and then it's like, oh, let me let me hit a, like try and get the the windmill going on the wall to to both sides both sides or one side more than the other. 
just this side, mostly this side. I don't really feel it anywhere else. Okay, so so you know what that sounds like? Um, it's quite common for people to have uh, bicep tendon inflammation, and that is the bicep tendon runs all the way up above the the top of the the arm bone, the humerus, under the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. When this happens, it gets tight. If you push on it, it hurts. You bench press, overhead press, a lot of times aggravates mm-hmm. this. Uh, believe it or not, uh, static stretching for the biceps uh, makes a big difference uh, with this kind of shoulder pain. So I would recommend uh, maybe a few times a day to do some bicep stretches, some long hold bicep stretches, and then even massage the bicep a little bit while you're doing this. In fact, next time you bench press, uh, do this before you bench press. Stretch your bicep, hold the stretch for a minute, then go bench, and then after the first set, do it again. See if you notice a difference. Oftentimes, front pain, uh, the shoulder pain in the front is coming from something like that. And then, of course, the, uh, the then you would also want to do shoulder mobility work, which you said you're already doing. I think if you add the bicep stretch to that, I think you'd be okay. Really common with like uh, people that have to like hold something. I, I noticed this when uh, after I had Max on that one side of like having to carry him all the time, my bicep in that, that isometric position just being so tight and mm. then you feel the pull. So pay attention if that's a, if that's a side that you carry like your, I don't know if you're carrying your bag and your gear on that side a lot, uh, but mm. just even if it's not super heavy, but just holding something in that kind of flex position mm. for the bicep for long periods of time during the day, a lot of times that'll cause that. And if you become aware that that's what's causing the the shoulder pain, you'll you'll be good about like stretching right after that happens. So like after I hold Max for ten or fifteen minutes now when I'm with him, I try and stretch it out real quick right afterwards because I know if I don't and I keep doing that, it ends up causing shoulder pain yeah. too. Now aside from those things, because those are the individualized things, okay? So I'm giving you advice that is specific to kind of what you're telling me. Besides that, generally speaking, your best workout program to follow that's going to help you with what you said earlier, which was the running and the rucking and the long distance stuff. Adam said it earlier, Maps OCR. Maps OCR would actually be perfect okay. for that. So I would do the the core stuff that I said, do that daily. I would do the bicep stretching daily, the shoulder mobility stuff daily, and then follow MAPS at OCR as your workout. That would be the I think the perfect kind of routine for what you're saying. Hook them up. Yeah. Are you do you have oh, do you have oh, yeah, sounds great. Do you have MAPS OCR, by the way? Oh uh, no, I have uh, all took, the other ones. <laughs> Actually, right. well, only, I think you, I'm only missing like two or three. Well, no, you well, you got it now. Doug's gonna hook you up. So you're gonna have MAPS OCR. So follow that oh. program. Oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. No, no problem, man. Hey, and uh, I know uh, Doug told us earlier before we turned on the cameras, you're serving, uh, you're serving our country. So I, I want to thank you for your service. Oh uh, no, thank you guys for for this, that kind of support. And I've, I've been listening to you guys for years, and I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, you guys helped me grow so much as a person to become a, a better father, leader, and take care of my teammates and, and the people around me. So I, I really do appreciate what y'all Hell do. Yeah. And Hell what yeah. you guys bring bring to us. The audience. Thank you, man. Thanks, Th- thanks for calling in. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you. See you, brother. You know, it's crazy. You could tell that uh, he's he's obviously been listening for a long time. I mean, he's doing the work from Prime Pro. He knew to do the shoulder circles. Like that's cool to hear. Like somebody trying to troubleshoot and st- still have. He's got a pretty good idea of yeah. what he needs to do. Just the mm-hmm. the SI joint stuff, and then maybe the bicep, the front of the shoulder pain like that with the bicep is so money because yeah, because the shoulder pain. Oh, I shoulder mobility. Be- I wanted to hear him say it. I bet you money he's carrying his. His, that was so good. Yeah, I guarantee. I, know, I, I wish he said that. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee he's carrying his his gear on one side. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Or it's his gun or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something yeah. That he just carries on that. Well, that's why when I asked if it's on one side more than the other, it's for sure it's something like that. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. 